Hi guys, welcome to Total Technic. Uh, today working on the Audi uh, A6S6 RS6 C5 platform saloon or event. And we are going to show you how to remove the armrest bracket. As uh, so we can see the, uh, the armrest brackets down in here. They've already stripped out quite a lot of this centre console so you're going to get a good view what it is that we're doing you won't have quite a good as good a view as this uh, when you come to do it yourself uh, we're going to take you through it uh, step by step so let's make a start so when you come to uh, remove this uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be accessing it from the rear uh, to to actually uh, gain access to the bolts to get this uh, this bracket out so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove the uh, the rear uh, panel uh, that sits in the back of here and also, of course, you're going to have to remove your armrest. You don't, you do not need to remove the uh, the armrest trim. That's the uh, decorative trim that sits around the armrest. Uh, but of course, you do need to uh, remove the armrest itself, and uh, therefore the uh, also the rear panel here. I've already uh, re uh, recorded videos for you on how to remove both of those parts. So if you're unsure on either of those, uh, we'll have a link for you below this video. Just scroll down, check those out, and come back when you've got this rear panel and your armrest out of the way, and we can show you how to uh, get the um, the actual bracket itself removed. Okay, so we're just going to look at very quickly on what's holding this in. Uh, if you look at the uh, at the back here, you've got these two uh, big uh, nuts here, these gold uh, gold ones. Uh, one sits on top of the centre console plastic, and the other one we can see just there. There's actually another one at the front, and we can see it nice and uh, nice and easily here. Uh, I can get some light in there for you. Uh, we can sit down in that hole there, uh, because what we've done is we've gained the access uh, in here. We had the um, the uh, foam, foam prep uh, system and, and all the rest of it's already been removed from, from out of this kind of area here. Uh, and that's, that's quite an involved job. So yes, you can do it this that way, and yes, you can gain access to that. And if you don't have the foam prep, that might be the easier route to go. However, the other option you can do, uh, which is when you look in the back, what you'll find is that you have this, um, this uh, air intake uh, here, uh, which is kind of in the way. Uh, but, but what you'll find if you grab the whole thing and give it a bit of a wobble backwards and forwards and upside down, you should be able to uh, get this uh, disconnected. Okay, almost there. There it comes. So the way that that works is there's just four little holes in it, and uh, the thing that it plugs into has got little plastic barbs that snap into those holes. That's all you're trying to do. So once you've got this uh, this little part moved out of the way, you can put that to one side. Don't forget to put it back in. But then you've got the access that you need to get right down to the front. You see I've just got my finger on there now uh, to actually uh, get that final um, nut. So that's kind of the, the kind of the, the, the easy workaround, especially if you've got the, uh, the foam prep there. Uh, so let's get on with it. These are size 13. Once you crack them off, they're uh, very easy. They're just finger tight. So I uh, get the uh, the two easy ones removed, which are the two at the rear, and then we can uh, have a look at the one at the front. So for the last one, which is kind of the, the tricky one, uh, again, I'm gonna use my uh, Ratchet spanner, it's a flexi head one, makes life a little bit easier. See already, that's uh, loosened, so that'll be finger tight now. As you can see, I'm kind of getting it bit by bit by bit. Obviously, uh, it's quite painful to watch because we've got a nice uh, big uh, open hole that we're looking at it from. Uh, you don't have this uh, this luxury. Uh, like I say, when you come to do yours, unless you want to do it the uh, the hard way. But there he comes. He's almost there. There it comes. So I'll just uh, remove that. So that's the uh, three of these exact same uh, size 13 uh, nuts removed. Okay. So what we want to do is um, basically you've got two different types. Uh, the the one at the very front is very similar to this one at the back right here in, uh, in so much that uh, it actually passes through the body. The body's got a hole in it and the bolt passes through it. The one that's underneath uh, has actually got like um, like a two um, forked, uh, two prongs, two pronged fork if you like, that sits around it. So what we want to do is just grab the, uh, the whole thing. I'm going to lift it up at the front. I'm going to try and lift it up on the rear here as well. Let's try not to get in the way of 
the uh, camera. Very close. So I'll grab my screwdriver. Give me a hand there. So next what we need to do is we're going to need to lift the, uh, so that's, yeah we've got that free, so what we need now is to lift the other uh, plastic of the um, centre console uh, just to free up this section. Like I say you don't need to lift the actual uh, metal on that side but you are going to have to lift the plastic. it out there you've got to slide it forward as I said this is a, like a two uh, pronged fork here so that has to slide back uh, inside Just be careful of your electrical connector there lift them up draw them forward uh, and as you can see uh, that is the armrest bracket removed 